Welcome back to Living 808. Hawaii Speed and Quickness works with hundreds and hundreds of island keiki every year. Now they are having their first ever dinner fundraiser this Sunday night. Here to tell us all about the event, President of Hawaii Speed and Quickness, Rich Miano. Also joining us, Chefs Kaimana Chi and Ho'owila Sua. Hello, thank you all for joining us. Mahalo. It's great to be here. Rich, why don't we start with you. Um, for people who may not be familiar with Hawaii Speed and Quickness, tell us about the organization. Well, we've been servicing young people keiki in Hawaii for 19 years, and literally thousands and thousands of youth. So there's so many different aspects to what we do, but basically is educational curriculum. Obviously, the Speed and Quickness is in the name, but also mentoring, tutoring. And what I'm probably most proud of is what we call our Kupa'a Scholarship, which is to scholarship young people in the program to help them go to college. We're going to talk more about that in a moment because, Ho'owila, I know that you are uh, the scholarship recipient. Yes. But first, I mean, I I'm so impressed with what you guys do at Hawaii Speed and Quickness because if I remember correctly, didn't it start to try and get people, you know, get kids um, the training needed to kind of take yes. their sport to the next level, but it's evolved into something so much more. Yes, it started as a speed and quickness, basically to get kids to be, have more self-esteem, to play sports, to do recreation, and to stay away from the bad things that mm -hmm. are out there. And then my wife, who's really the genius behind it, really she put is. In, I know your <laughs> wife, and I can attest to that. <laughs> really put in the educational curriculum and the nutritional thing, and buying kids shoes, and, and feeding them, and just mentoring them, and, and ACT, SAT prep, just the whole curriculum to make them so much more well-rounded. Yeah, for people who are watching this interview, going, well, I, I would love to have my kids be a part of Hawaii Speed and Quickness. Um, you guys meet like every week, but you also have other events. Yeah, we have so many different events, and uh, HawaiiSpeedandQuickness.com is probably the best mm -hmm. way to figure out what we're doing because we do so many different things on the neighboring islands. We do things at Midpac. We're kind of all over the place on the west side especially because that's really a place that we feel is at-risk youth. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Okay, you mentioned the Kupa'a Scholarship, right? Yes. Named after your son, yes. Kupa'a. Um, so tell us, you are a recipient of the scholarship. Yes. So how has it helped you and impacted your life? It helped me when I was trying to go away to school and it helped me get um, the things I needed like books and a laptop. Yeah, so it's huge. I mean, a lot of times, you know, we know what the cost of college is <laughs> yes. like or school education in general. Um, so it's it's helped you in that way. Yes. Um, and, and are you a graduate then? of? Yes, a I just graduated from culinary school at the Art Institute of Seattle. Wow, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. That's really exciting. Are you back here at home now? Yes. Okay, are you I working? Are you yes, looking for I work now at Kai Coffee Hawaii and... I get to do for cool events like this. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations. Okay, Kaimana Chi, our, our celebrity chef, um, you're back in Hawaii for yes. this event, but yes. you actually, you, you have a restaurant in Maryland. Yeah, right outside of Baltimore, Maryland, Uncle's Hawaiian Grinds, a little modern take on Hawaiian food. Um, I grew up in Ha'ula and La'ie. I'm a graduate of Kahuku, uh, 1995, Red Raiders for Life. <laughs> That's um, but uh, yeah, I'm back in town to support uh, Rich's and Lori's amazing cause, and it's I'm so excited to be here to share a little bit of my experience around the world with food and bring it to Hawaii. You were also on uh, the show Cutthroat yes, Kitchen, Cutthroat right? Kitchen, yeah. What was that like? It was, as somebody put it, diabolical. You know, you're thrown in with amazing chefs. They tie your hand behind your back or make you do crazy things. And in the meantime, you're trying to cook yeah. and plate and then talk to cameras and <laughs> be happy and be funny. But it was, a, it was an amazing experience. Yeah, so. no, you did a great job. When you walked in this morning, I'm like, I recognize him. <laughs> um, so tell us what you guys have here. Yeah, so this, this dish is, this is going to be our edible centerpiece. And what we've done here to really pr promote wellness and healthier eating in, in sort of the Hawaiian diet, what I have here is an edible garden. So this starts with edible soil. This is actually wild rice and mushrooms roasted up, seasoned beautifully, and then ground it up. Everybody thinks it's soil or dirt, right? But you can actually eat it. It's tasty. It's salty. It's great. And then we're adding some vegetables, some local vegetables, um, some vegetables people are familiar with. We have some mushrooms here, some fresh kale, bell pepper, artichoke. I love so the actually, idea. Yeah. I love the idea of an edible centerpiece. Yes. So often you go to these events mm. and you've got, you know, big flowers or whatever, and they're always beautiful, mm. but they're not usable. They're not right. practical. I mean, this is something that people will be, oh, it's interesting, yep. you know. Yep. Um, we're almost out of time, but I know that you guys will be cooking up the food, right, yes. at the event. Yes. The event is this Sunday, yes. uh, September 3rd, yes. 5 p.m. at the Bear Estate, which is a beautiful, beautiful venue. Um, tickets still available? 
There's one table left, and if nobody buys it, I think I'm going to give it to John Veneri, Mark Veneri, and his dad, <laughs> who is the best athlete out of all of them. Oh, terrific. That's right. You were on cover two last night. Yes. Congratulations on that. Um, okay, one table left. So I really hope that people will will really support this organization. You guys do great work. And again, it's for Island Kiki. And there's four other chefs that have flown in from the mainland as well. So oh, this wow. is like great food, great events, Marcus Mariota, autograph stuff. We have so many things to... Terrific. Uh, so there'll be an auction too. Yes. Okay, terrific. Thank you so much and good luck with the event this Friday. Um, and please go and support the event. We're going to have all the information on our website on how to get tickets. Okay? It is Aloha Friday and we can't do Aloha Friday here on Living Need Wait without a visit from Chef Sam Choi.